ways heavy metals sneak into your body. Now some of these you may know already, but I guarantee the last one is going to ruffle some feathers. Number one, chocolate. Now this one is hard to hear because we all love chocolate, but high levels of lead and cadmium were found in our favorite chocolate brands. Number two, tap water. How many of y'all still drink water from your faucet? Did you know that most tap water contains arsenic and other heavy metals? If you want to know what's in your water, go to ewg.org and enter your zip code. I will warn you though, it's worse than you think. Number three, medications. Heavy metals are used as binding agents. In a lot of prescriptions and over-the-counter meds like antacids, they contain aluminum. Number four, beauty products. Sorry ladies, but most lipsticks contain lead and popular mascara brands contain mercury. Now just think about all the stuff that you put on every day. Number five, what they're spraying on us. You know what I'm talking about. The tic-tac-toe marks in the sky. Did you know they contain 85% of nano-sized metallic particles, which not only contaminates the air that we breathe, but it also gets into our soil, which leads me to number six, pesticides and herbicides. Along with toxic glyphosate and PFAs, these agricultural chemicals contain lead and cadmium, and they're spraying it on our food. On to number seven. Most rice, especially if it comes from China, contains high levels of heavy metals. Number eight. Did you know Gerber Baby, Beech Nut, Happy Baby, and Earth's Best were all tested and were found to have mercury and other heavy metals in them? So watch what you're feeding your babies. Number nine, fish. Most larger fish like swordfish, tuna, and king mackerel contain high amounts of mercury. And if it comes in a tin can, even more reason to stay away. Which leads me to number 10, canned food. Tin cans contain chromium, nickel, and aluminum which leaches into the foods over time. And this doesn't just pertain to food. Number 11, canned sodas. These cans are made of aluminum, as we all know. But did you know that aluminum is reactive with acidic substances such as soda? So it's not only in our food and beverages, but also look at what you're cooking with too. Now, most of us know these aren't safe, but they're so hard to let go of because they're convenient and easy to clean. Number 12, non-stick pans. These include both Teflon and ceramic pans. As the coatings are chipped away, heavy metals and toxins are cooked into your food. This also pertains to aluminum foil. Yes, it's convenient, but not worth it. Number 13, vapes. Now we all know by now that vaping is way worse than smoking, but neither one are good for you. Vapes, however, contain many more heavy metals than cigarettes do. And finally, let's get into the last one which may get some of your panties in a bunch. Do you know what it could be? If you said the V word, you are correct. We'll just refer to these as polka doses. Coming in at number 14. Did you know that heavy metals are added to these as adjuvants because it gives more antibody protection, so they say. Thimerosal is a preservative used in most polka doses, which contains the upper limit of mercury per poke per child. So imagine giving your kids several pokes at once. It's not something you want to ingest, let alone inject. But now that we know better, we can do better for ourselves and for our families.